Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Today I would like to share the knowledge about characteristics of phylum Arthropoda. My name is Sarfraz Rahman. I am a PhD scholar in the Department of Parasitology. I would like to share this knowledge with references these books. Number one is Veterinary Parasitology, second edition by GM. Arkohat Diagnostic Parasitology for Veterinary Technicians, 5th edition by Charles M. Hendricks. And third one is Handbook of Entomological Terms by, G, by Muhammad Ishfaq. And uh, a Handbook of Veterinary Parasitology of the Domestic Animals of North America by Henry G. J. Griffiths, Medical and Veterinary Entomology, 3rd edition by Gary R. Mullen. And last one is the Internet Sources. Please subscribe my channel and also push the button of bell icon. Entomology. Uh, first of all, I would like to introduce about what is uh, entomology. Entomology is a branch of zoology in which deals the study of insects. Etymology, uh, it is the word history. So this word entomology, it is derived from the Greek word entomon mean insect and logia mean the study of. The insects lived on earth for more than 350 million years. Entomologists are the people who study insects as a carrier or immatures or both. Medical entomology, the study of insect, insect-borne diseases and other associated problems that uh, affect humans and public health. Veterinary entomology, it is the study of insects and insects related problems that affect the domestic animals particularly livestock and companion animals like dogs cats horses cats birds etc the study of insects of veterinary importance is called veterinary entomology the study of all arthropods that are parasitic on animals including the arachnids such as ticks and mites. So this one is the important point I would like to share with you. Uh, the Patrick Manson, uh, he is uh, an English man. He was born in 1844 and he died in 1922. Uh, he firstly uh, to demonstrate the pathogen transmission by blood feeding arthropod. He was working in China in 1877. Uh, he showed that mosquito culics, five pines, fatigans is a vector of Wichiria ben crofty, that is the causative agent of uh, Bancrotian filariasis. It is also called lymphatic filariasis. So this is the brief classification of uh, phylum arthropoda. The phylum arthropoda it has the three main classes. Uh, first one is insecta, other one is arachnida, third one is the crustaceans. It is also called the pentastomida. And uh, the insect, uh, it has the following order, uh, Deptera, uh, in, it includes the fly, and uh, Thereptera, uh, it includes the lice, Siphoneptera, it includes the fleas, others group in which the, it uh, having the Hemeptera. So the Deptera, uh, it, is, uh, uh, it includes the flies and it has the following suborder that Nematocera, Brachycera, Cyclorypha. Nematocera, uh, it has the following families, Ceratopogonidae. 
uh, it includes the midges, simolidae, it includes black flies, psychodidae, it includes sand flies, culicidae, it includes mosquitoes. Brachycera, uh, it has only one family, Cabanidae, it uh, uh, includes the horse flies. Uh, next is the Cycloripa, it has the following family, Mercedes, it includes the house flies. Uh, Califoridae, it includes the blow flies. Hippobosidae, it includes the uh, forest flies. Ostridae, it includes the board flies so other group is the arachnida uh, this class arachnida having the two main group that uh, one is the ticks and other is the mites the tick have the following two main families the exodidae it is also called the hard ticks while the other is the ergacidae it is also called the soft ticks this uh, family ergacidae soft ticks have the three main genera uh, first one is the Argus, other one is the Nithodorus, and third one is Atobius. Uh, uh, but uh, Exodidae, that is the heart ticks, it has the following genera that uh, Exodes, Hemophysalis, Derma Center, Raphisphalus, Amblyoma, Bovophilus, and Hyloma. So the mites, uh, this uh, have the two main groups that boring mites and non-boring mites. The boring mites, it has the following families, Sarcoptidae, Demodicidae, Lemnosoptidae. While non-boring mites, it have the following families, Sauroptidae, Kelidae, and Dermanacidae. So the phylum arthropoda, now I would uh, 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 like to tell about the brief uh, uh, characteristics of the phylum arthropoda. The arthropoda is the largest phylum, it consists of 9 lakh species. The ancient Greek word arthron means joints and pos means foot. It consists when vertebrate animals and these have an exoskeleton, paired jointed appendages and a segmented body. Over than 80% of all known species, uh, it has the hard chitinous exoskeleton. Uh, it, is, uh, he, it has uh, uh, a segmented body and uh, these arthropods are the jointed limbs. Uh, the, now I would like to tell about the structures and functions. It ha these uh, arthropods they have hard exoskeleton or, and uh, that is uh, situated underlying the epidermis. And it has the three segment head, thorax, abdomen. The cicloides, uh, uh, this is the thick chitinous plates. And, and made the segments of arthropods and tergum. This is another important term that are the thick dorsal plate uh, that is the uh, a, a segment of the body of an arthropod. So the parts of the tergum, it has the main three parts, are dorsal tergum, ventral tergum, two lateral pleurons. What is the pleurons? Pleurons connect by connected by small flexible pieces of chitin and function as a joint. Elementary canal, it has the three main regions, foregut, midgut and hindgut. The structure and functions, uh, the foregut, uh, uh, complex mouth part, buccal cavity, pharynx, esophagus, proventriculus, it, these are included into the foregut and esophagus. It has the crop that is the dilated posteriorly part of the esophagus. Proventriculus or gizzard, a muscular part of esophagus, act as a valve to prevent regurgitation. Um, uh, yeah, these have the uh, teeth to aid the disintegration of the food particle. 
meat gut in the meat gut the store the food and secrete the enzyme for digestion and uh, the malpigian tubules opening to the alimentary canal at the junction of the meat gut and hind gut and or a variable number of the excretory tubules uh, that act as the filter extracting waste products from the blood which are subsequently discharged into the gut so the hind gut uh, is posteriorly that is uh, ileum uh, interiorly uh, that is the ileum and posteriorly dilated rectum having a papillary or glands involved in reabsorption of water from the feces body cavity it is also called the coelom and space between the gut gut and body wall it is also called hemocoel and uh, it connects the blood uh, blood and hemolymph uh, what is the hemolymph of fluid equivalent to blood in most invertebrates occupying the hemocoel and primary function as the transport of metabolites internal organs uh, that uh, internal organs are bathed in the blood and circulated by flow of heart so the heart that is uh, dorsally situated and it, uh, it is the primitive form and ostia that is a short opening from which the blood enter into the heart then expelled through a short vessel into the hemal cell and respiration oxygen reaches to the tissue used by simple gaseous diffusion spiracle small circular opening uh, that enter into the exoskeleton uh, allow the air into the body trachea and tracheoles ramify in the whole parts of body and mechanism oxygen enters in the body enter into the tracheoles then in the body then into the tracheoles and then carbon dioxide gas is expelled out of from the body the nervous system ventrally situated ganglionated nerve cords and it connects the head region to the body head region a large esophageal ganglion associated with sensory organ like eyes and various tactile and auditory organs the structure and functions of the eyes these are absent or reduced like in ticks and lice and well developed in insects two type of eyes one is the compound eyes other is the simple eyes the compound eyes that adopted for the perception of movement and uh, it uh, the dicoptic eyes that is present in the female distinctly separated haloptic eyes that present uh, that are present in the male are very close together uh, simply uh, simple eyes that is also called the ocelli that is present on the top of head and uh, it differentiate between the light uh, uh, and dark antennae or pulp receptors uh, respond to temperature humidity food stimuli and host odor so the hairs on the body that uh, act as a tactile sense in some arthropods reproductive system sexes are separate males external genital structures penis paired claspers of the male identification of the species level internally appear of testes vas differences seminal vesicles uh, vas differences expanded uh, distinctly stored the spermatozoa uh, in the externally of the female well developed ovipositors internally paired ovaries oviduct uterus vagina spermatica that is an important accessory organ open in common oviduct consist of receptacles filled with spermatozoa from male during copulation eggs passing into vagina are fertilized by spermatozoa and remain viable in spermatica often throughout the female's life arthropods are oviparous 
so difference between insecta and arachnida insecta these uh, ha having the three pair of legs uh, head thorax and abdomen single pair of antennae while in arachnida that is the four pair of legs and uh, they having the fellow thorax and abdomen and no antennae okay thank you so much